one of the major design goals of this whole thing is serviceability. Learned from the last one. Can't fix it on the road, it's a real pain. So. So point to something. <laughs> Show me what's what. <laughs> okay, the Macintosh is over here. This is serving as the high-level user interface to the whole thing. Okay. There are a couple hard disks here. One of them is for the Mac, the one that's currently spinning in there. This is a little Mac high-density floppy. This is a DOS machine. It's Ampros 286. Um, I now have an, actually another little Ampro computer back there that runs the heads-up display, so I'm putting the Spark station here. It's the Sun workstation. I've always wanted to ride a Unix cycle. Uh, this <clears throat> this is sort of the back of the front panel. There's a couple of LCDs here and, and display controller, a little DOS processor here. Uh, this is in the process of being redone, but right now it's serving as my whole display environment. And some of the other little tools like the digital panel meter and so on that lets me look at system voltages and LED matrix for diagnostics, etc. This is a place to put parts. Um, one of the handiest parts of the whole thing, actually. I'm screws, keeps them from wandering off. Um, this is the bicycle, the bicycle control processor and its kludge board. So all the random logic I throw in here, this folds down for service. And this is really the controller of the bike. There are three of these scattered around. It's a 68HC11 running fourth from New Micros. And this is sitting on the, this basically takes care of all the network management, power control, security, all the, all the low level controls of the whole thing. And the Macintosh talks to it through this. So what the Mac is actually doing when we were doing speech a little while ago. The Mac was talking to this, which was in turn controlling the speech synthesizer. Uh, so this gives me a place to do all my random logic and things like that down here. What, what little there is these days. It's mostly software. It doesn't look it. Um, over there is a uh, PACCOM terminal node controller. That's for packet data communication by ham radio. I can do electronic mail from the bike that way. I have other electronic mail paths elsewhere, but that's, uh, that's one of the more important ones. Uh, over on this side, probably the most dramatic device is the Trimble GPS receiver. This is, uh, this is the device that receives data from a network of satellites, uh, up to ultimately 24 of them, about 18 at the moment, and knows its present location to about 50 to 100 foot precision anywhere in the world. Also knows my speed and the time of day down to one microsecond precision. This is the controller for the head mouse and a speech recognition front end. <coughs> Back here, is one of the few things I actually had to design and build from scratch. This is an audio crosspoint matrix so that any audio device on the bike can talk to any other audio device on the bike. And there are three of these boards and they're tied together through a big bus. So at every site, all these different objects, things that make, make noise or, or have audio inputs, um, have device addresses and they can be attached to each other with software. This is the AW adapter, the speech synthesizer that we hear periodically here. And this is a, a MFJ terminal node controller that is sort of like this, but it has some other modes, and it lets me run some modes that work for long distance communication by HF radio, for data also. Point to the speech synthesizer again. And the other thing? This is the Macintosh battery here. Pull it oh. out one more time and put it in. Also, one other thing of, of note is I mentioned that everything on here is software controlled. That even includes power switching. Uh, when, let's say when we turn on the speech synthesizer, it's done by the bicycle control processor and it's done with software. It toggles a bit, which turns on a field effect transistor, which turns on a dedicated switching regulator. These little things from Power Trends are super efficient. And so there's this 12 volt battery bus that runs the length of the whole bike. And at every place where power is needed, there's a little circuit board like this that allows the, the computer to switch it on and off locally. So there's no big central power supply. Everything's mm -hmm. distributed. Everything's under computer control.